Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do every Monday at 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show every trading day here. 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, the way you get this newsletter, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you're going to see Mastering Probability right in the middle. You hit Mastering Probability, you hit subscribe. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. You can get it for a year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. They all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Everything to win, nothing to lose. Go get it. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Geez, Tom, not too much today, huh? <laughs> it's a ride, man. It's a ride. No doubt. No yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, so I thought I just have a few things to be able to share with you and the viewers out there, and then I'll let you go ahead and take it away. Um, one of the things that you were mentioning, you were, you were saying to folks, hey, to the extent that you want to dip your toe in the water, you know, start looking at the uh, NASDAQ or some of the NASDAQ equities. And so just two of them we can take a look at. The one that's generating a, uh, a great signal, one of your favorite signals, uh, testing a prior swing point, uh, rejecting it, or at least at this stage here at 319 in the afternoon on lighter volume is Microsoft. So in Microsoft, yeah. if we look at that uh, February 28th day, came down with 97 million shares. Today, so far, you're at 50 million. Doesn't seem likely that we'll see 40 million shares, you know, coming into the close. And as long as price closes above that 152 level, we're at 152.90, you know, you'd have your test and your rejection out there. And Apple really doing the same thing. Unfortunately, in the case of Apple, it's still trading with inside that swing point. So unlike Microsoft that actually got down and tested the uh, low you've still uh, in this is the february 28th swing point in the case of apple 106 million you're only at 56 so um and but right now apple is trading it's priced at 269.77 it would be nicer if apple at the end of the uh, session day could close above 270.03 it's only a few pennies, in essence, away from where we're trading, but 270.03 would be the bottom of its daily profile out there. But irrespective nice. of that daily profile, coming down here, just kind of a question for you, just so that you can share it with, with uh, uh, listeners out there, viewers out there. So when you have Apple coming into this swing point with lighter volume out here, but hasn't really tested it, how would you trade Apple? Yeah, would you wait? I would wait. It's, it, you know, this is a dicey deal, folks. What, not just me and the market today. When they don't test it, they don't tell you. That's what it comes down to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you, know, it, you, can, you can make the case. What we're talking about, folks, is like Microsoft tested it. Good-looking yes. stock. Microsoft was the strongest stock in the NDX 100 prior to this. And what happens with Apple is that, you know, if it had made it down to that 256, then it would, you know, basically say, okay, I made it. I have rejected it, and in this particular case, it's like, okay, man, you're down there, you almost hit it, you didn't hit it, it's like, oh, I can't, it drives me crazy when they get that close and don't do it, actually, do you know what yes, I mean? But the good thing is we just, we did some help here for all the listeners out there and, and viewers, and here we're saying, hey, if you were going to dip your toe in the water, you know, look at Microsoft, wait for it to come into the close. Um, you know, take a look at the volume, maybe take another look at it uh, tomorrow. It's, so a couple it's of impressive. I mean, Mike, Microsoft, yeah. this is, I, I love what you brought up with Microsoft because this is impressive, folks, okay? You, you want to wrap your head around this, okay? I, I can bring you back to 1994, 1998, 2004, <laughs> I yes. mean, uh, 2007. When things go south and stay south for a long period of time, you don't have any of them that are holding price. Sure. That's and so Microsoft in itself. This is this is a strong indication. We got underneath that today with 50 million. Well, you're going into 75. So and you're coming back to that breakout area. Oh, look at that. That's cool. This is yeah. cool. Look no, at no, that. it's it, it's it's a good it's a good looking setup. Yeah. And, you know, I've been spending the day really trying to surf around looking for different clues. You know that the market might be giving us. But back to the to the Nasdaq or the NQ specifically. Yes. Um, this chart here, Tom. Uh, is for is broken up into four different time frames. So you've got the daily time frame, the upper left, weekly upper right, monthly lower left, and quarterly lower right. And this gives us our market profiles. Now, uh, we have both the e, uh, both the uh, daily and the weekly are trading below the bottom of their profile, so not good. Well, we take a look, but this really helps or just simply another thing to prove what you had said earlier about just simply the strength of the Nasdaq here. 
Uh, the NASDAQ is still trading above the top of its monthly profile. That is the bottom left-hand panel of the chart, which is really strong. I, we, we would not see this in the Dow. Um, we see it inside the ES Mini as an example, though. The ES Mini is not as strong as the, uh, this is the monthly time frame chart yes. for the ES Mini as opposed to showing the four quadrants. But if we were to look for where is support on a monthly level uh, from uh, the ES Mini, we would say really two prices. I would generate two price levels. They would be either 26.52, that's the bottom of the monthly profile, or 27.17. Now the low today was uh, 27.15, I believe. 27. Uh, yeah, yeah 27.15. 27 yeah, yeah 27.15. So it's held the support now. In looking at this profile, I refer to this profile as bullish in structure, meaning that that center line at 2717 would really be that first level of support that it held. Now, the reason I refer to it as a bullish structure is because that center line is much closer in proximity to the bottom than the top. At the top is where sellers are, the bottom is where buyers are, and the center is where both buyers and sellers. So if there's buyers there too, at 2717 at 2652 that's your strong supporter 2652 folks if the markets continue to, to move lower overnight you'd be watching for that level inside the es mini to see if it would hold other things and I, I don't believe this is the i, I believe that the market is really trying to form a bottom now i said i believe it's really the charts out here if we take a look at this is the s p 500 right now and we're taking a look and, and you there's a, this is just simply a bar chart tom yes and here there's a black line that that gets drawn this is not a line that i've drawn this is part of my tool package and this is the roads momentum indicator and when this triggers it says okay prepare for either a top or bottom right now we're just taking a look at bottom signals out here and what i want to do is i'm going to pull this back further so that folks can see this signal there's a specific five-step process that I teach folks about this pattern uh, subscribers have access to a, a workshop that is on their members page out here and here if we take a look at the Christmas bottom or the day after Christmas back in 2018 out here we had one of those roads momentum indicator signals that was present if we pull it back even further we come back here and see another nice bottom that was formed with this pattern but again you need to, just the triggers themselves don't identify the bottom it's part of this five-step process we keep going back here you can see back in february 2016 nice roads momentum indicator bottom signal this is the s p 500 cash that we're taking a look at and again it would just keep continuing to pull back each time one of these bottom signals forms it has provided one heck of a nice rally slingshot rally move if we come back here into uh, so you can just see these patterns and so that we don't have the confirmed signal yet but it is absolutely something worth paying attention to. Now, what's also worth paying attention to overnight, again, it's 326 in the afternoon, is going to be the spot volatility index. And what I'm looking at there, Tom, is if the spot volatility index can close below 54.39, it's trading at 52.98, it's confirming just the opposite of what we looked at. This would be the road momentum indicator top. Okay. And we can see that both on Friday, this triggered it, but that was a bearish shooting star candle. And that high that I gave you, as long as price trades below that, this would be your rejection of a swing point, um, in this case here at top. So everything is set up. Now we just have to wait to see what the market actually does for us. Man, we got 34 minutes for the equity markets, and you got uh, 44, 49 for the futures. And anything can happen. That's a beautiful thing, man. Hey, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Steve. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.